<clears throat> no. Hello, my lovelies. I can never like. Hello, my lovelies. My video today is going to be on my March favorites. These are just products that I've been reaching for and grabbing for this month that I've, you know, kind of fell in love with. So I'm just going to jump right in. Don't forget to watch this in HD. Alright, the first thing I'm going to start off with is lips. This is a Stila Longwear Lip Color in the color Flushed. I'm wearing this on my lips right now, but I have been putting this on pretty much every day. It's this really pretty natural pink color. It's just natural. Like, it looks like your lip color, but better kind of a thing. That's what this looks like. Sorry if I sound weird. My getting kind of sick. Then the next lip product that I love, it's like my holy grail lipstick, is my MAC Angel lipstick. And this is just like a really nice neutral light pink super super gorgeous it's like really wearable for me my skin tone that is what angel looks like and I love this lipstick this is also a frost and it doesn't really come off really frosty but I don't know it's not like shimmery but if you haven't tried this lipstick out and you love pinks then go check this out from MAC <clears throat> The next thing that I have been loving is my Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation, um, and this is in the color Sand. I really love this foundation. Um, it feels really great on my skin, and it just kind of looks like you're not really wearing any makeup. And I like to use my, to put it on, I have been using my MAC 181 Special Edition, so it's like this mini kabuki brush. And then this is the Sonia Kashuk Beauty Blender dupe thing that I've been really loving too. When you dampen it and then you just flat it on and then this part I like to use for my under, setting my under eye concealer. But this is like an awesome sponge. I really feel like fell in love with it this month. Okay, next thing is my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I usually normally use the original and I just tried this color and this is like a matte tan color. It's different and this is also the new packaging which they, it's been out for a while but I've had the old packaging that I've been using up. So I got Eden in the new one and I really love this color because it's I can put it all over my lid all the way up to my brow bone and it kind of just lightens my eyes a little as a base. So I think and I, Urban Decay Primer Potion is my favorite, all-time favorite eyeshadow base. I think it works amazingly for me. Next thing, kind of jumping around all over, is my Bobbi Brown Corrector Concealer combination. Now, I've been using Corrector Concealer from Bobbi Brown for a long time. Um, but I just recently went back and like had them redo my color because it didn't, what I was using didn't seem good. So I picked up and found out I am the corrector in light bisque which is a it's part of the pink it's like a pink corrector they have pink correctors and peach correctors pink tones and peach tones and then my concealer is warm ivory this is the new kit I had the old kit with the loose powder and I love it with the pressed powder so combination of this then this is just freaking amazing like lightens up my under eyes like whoa and this, if you have dark circles under your eyes like me, use the correct Bobbi Brown Corrector Concealer. Go get matched for your color. It's amazing. And like I said, I like using the Beauty Blender to just dab it out and blend it in. Okay, a few more things. Mascara. Loving the benefit they're real. I've been using this for quite a while now. <clears throat> and it's got the, you know, the spiky ball at the end and... I think this is just a really great mascara. It's good for personally like getting on the inner with that ball. It really coats my lashes great and this is, I mean, I don't know. I love all mascaras really. I don't really find much difference between mascaras but I've really been liking the formula. It doesn't flake. It, it looks good on my lashes and it works well with me so benefit they're real. Uh, do -do -do. 
blush. I got Hervana recently and was using it. I didn't use it for a while and then I just started using it and oh, I love this blush. I'm wearing it today. It's like really subtle. This is what Hervana looks like. The pinwheel. It's the matte blush. Oh, really subtle and really, really pretty um, pink color that you get on your cheeks. It's just like a natural flush on me. Like it's pretty much like an everyday color. Like not like whoa blush, but it's just like ooh nice pink cheeks blush, which I could wear every day. Like keep that. If I had to pick one blush for the rest of my life, I think it would be that because like, it's pretty buildable. Well, that's hard to you know say that, but all right. Next is eyeshadows. Um, really quickly, I have been loving the combination. My camera's dying. Naked Lunch, which is a really pretty neutral MAC color. Um, soft brown in the crease. Really nice soft brown color. It's really light. And then for the outer corner, I love using Twix, which is like a dark brown. I always thought it was purple, but it's really brown. So that's the eye combination that I've been wearing pretty much every day this month, and I've been loving it. So those are my March favorites. If you have any questions, please comment below, and don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Godzilla.